Hey guys, it's the Med Studier and today we'll be looking at the various options for emergency contraception. This will include what it is, the different options and when each of them will be used. So let's get started. So what is emergency contraception? In the UK, emergency contraception can be used to prevent a pregnancy from occurring after an episode of unprotected intercourse. It can come in the form of pills or a coil and there are three main options in total. You can remember these using the mnemonic LUC, L-U-C. This includes levonorgestrel, ulipristol and the copper coil. Starting off with levonorgestrel, or also known as Levenel, this is a synthetic progesterogen and hence it's similar to progesterone. Therefore, it binds to the progesterone and androgen receptors creating a negative feedback. Hence, slowing down the release of gonadotrophin-releasing hormone. This results in the inhibition of ovulation in terms of dosage, 1.5 milligrams is given and should be taken within 72 hours of unprotected sexual intercourse. If the patient has a BMI of over 26 or weighs over 70 kilos, then a double dose of 3 milligrams is given instead. Side effects commonly include nausea and vomiting. However, if this does occur within the first couple of hours of the pill, then the dose should be repeated. Other side effects include spotting, diarrhea, breast tenderness, etc. If the patient usually takes the combined oral contraceptive pill, then this can be continued immediately after taking the levonorgestrel. Next up, we'll be looking at ulipristal, or otherwise known as ELA-1. This is a selective progesterone receptor modulator and also works by delaying ovulation. But it's known to be more effective than levonorgestrel. It's given as a single dose of 30 milligrams and can be used up to five days after unprotected sexual intercourse. Once again, patients can commonly experience nausea and vomiting. If this is the case, a dose should be repeated. Other side effects include spotting, abdominal pain, breast tenderness, and much more. There are some considerations to remember. This includes avoiding it in patients with severe asthma or those who are breastfeeding. If the patient usually takes the combined oral contraceptive pill or the progesterone only pill, then they should wait five days before taking their next pill. During this period, barrier contraception should be used for seven days. Finally, we're going to be looking at the copper coil or otherwise known as the intrauterine device. This works as a spermicide, meaning that the copper coil will be toxic to the ovum and the sperm, therefore inhibiting implantation. It's known to be the most effective method of contraception. This can be used within five days after an episode of unprotected sexual intercourse or five days within estimated date of ovulation. And this usually occurs 14 days before the end of a menstrual cycle. For instance, if a patient has a cycle length of 30 days, then their estimated date of ovulation will be at 16 days. It's advised that the coil should be put in place until at least the next period or can also be left in place as a long-term contraception. However, caution should be taken as insertion can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease in women at high risk of sexually transmitted infections. 
And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it useful. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at The Med Studio.